We will now go to uh, the audience in Juneau. And we have first up here in the audience, Tara Burns from Community United for Safety Protection. Tara, will you join us up front here? Thank you. My name is Tara Burns. I'm with the Community United for Safety and Protection. And we are a group of current and former Alaskan sex workers, sex trafficking victims, and our allies working towards safety and protection for everyone in Alaska's sex industry. And we are strongly in support of House Bill 205. Um, House Bill 205 is a timely fix to statutes that no longer serve Alaskans. House Bill 205 is an important step that has to be taken now in light of evidence-based research in combination with Alaska's reduced financial circumstances. We don't want Alaska to end up like California um, with no money and the prison system in federal receivership. We support House Bill 205 also because there are members of our community who are serving really long prison sentences for um, you know, what are defined as crimes against public decency. And if House Bill 205 passed, it would allow those members of our community to be at home with their children um, and to not you know, have them lose their housing and become a burden on the state when they get out of prison. Um, we would like to see language added to House Bill 205 to address the needs of victims and witnesses of crime by including language from Senate Bill 21. Senate Bill 21 clarifies that, um, clarifies and updates the intent of the prostitution st statute and expands public safety by including 16 violent crimes that victims or witnesses would be allowed to report without the threat of being charged with prostitution. Um, and this is needed. I did research uh, at UAF in my graduate degree in 2014. I consulted with 48 people who had worked recently in Alaska's sex trade. 74% of them said that they had been the victim or witness of a crime that they did not report because they were afraid of being charged with prostitution. Of the subgroup of people who um, did try to report crimes and who could also be defined federally as sex trafficking victims, 80% of them said that they were turned away by the police, 60% said that they were report or um, threatened with arrest, and 33% were actually arrested while they were trying to report that they had been the victim or witness of a crime. We urge your support for House Bill 205 and ask you to please include the language from Senate Bill 21. It is against our Alaskan values to allow criminals to target our most vulnerable community members with impunity. Um, and in considering amending House Bill 205 with the language um, to protect victims from Senate Bill 205, we ask you to please include five additional crimes that people should be able to report without being charged. Um, extortion, coercion, and robbery are the crimes that are most frequently committed against sex workers and sex trafficking victims. And then while they are less um, common, we think it's also really important that people be able to report sexual assault of a minor or possession or distribution of child pornography without, uh, you know, with confidence that they will not be charged with prostitution as a result of making that report. Reconfiguring the many statutes in House Bill 205 are a priority and so must be protecting Alaska's most vulnerable with language from Senate Bill 21 in this 29th legislative session. Thank you so much for hearing my testimony and I'm available for any questions. Thank, thanks, Tara. Anybody have any questions for Tara? Thanks for waiting around. <laughs>